Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I made a video yesterday discussing the real reasons people get hurt on deadlifts, breaking it down in a way you don't ever hear the big names on YouTube talk about, because quite frankly, they don't actually know. Like these guys don't know anything about training outside of having great genetics and maybe throwing a little bit of drugs in and just busting their ass, but they don't understand how people get hurt. And invariably someone, I should have seen this coming. Should have seen it coming because people love to throw in these loaded ass questions. So, does that mean that George Lehman's deadlifting incorrectly? And they try to throw this in as if they want to create a conflict between George and I. And let's discuss the issue with that. All right, clearly, people who say these things or who want to imitate George Lehman or emulate him or look up to him are not his real fans. They have not followed George for over the years. I've been following George Lehman since before I was on YouTube. Let me state that again. I have been following George Lehman and his mindset and his career and training since before I started making YouTube videos. I feel because I've been watching him over the years and I understand the guy a little bit where he's coming from, I feel qualified to say here that George Lehman would be the first person, and anyone who is a fan of his and really follows what this guy says will agree, George Lehman would be the first person to tell you, don't imitate him. He would tell you that if you want to be like him, or you want to train like him, or you want the things that he wants, that you are mentally ill. George Lehman is probably about the most real motherfucker in this whole industry. He admits that he is mentally sick. He admits he has a problem. He admits that his entire life revolves around focusing on being one of the strongest men, if not the strongest man in the world, and that his life, because of his own illness and his own problems, won't let him be happy or fulfilled if he can't obsess and focus on that. He will tell you that you do not want to be like him, that you don't want to look up to him. And because he is so damn honest about it, and the guy is mind-bogglingly, disgustingly, inhumanly fucking strong. Like, it baffles the fucking mind how strong he is. <laughs> that you have to end up respecting his level of honesty about it. He will be the first person to tell you that if you want to be truly good at anything, you're probably going to have to die for it. It is going to kill you. He is willing to cripple himself. He is willing to die to reach his goals. And he admits it's an illness. He knows it's not right. And if he, he said that if he could be happy doing anything else, anything, he would do it. But he can't. So when people want to take his technique and understand George, say, well, George does it. Yes, it is wrong. What he is doing might be right if your goals are what George's are, that he doesn't care if he's crippled or dead as long as he can reach that goal that strength goal. He doesn't want to be your hero. He doesn't care about being your hero. He doesn't care about your admiration. He doesn't give a fuck about you. He cares about getting strong. He could give two shits less if you look up to him. It's just not in his nature. It's not his goal. He just wants to be fucking strong at any cost. And the way that he trains is going to cripple him. I'm going to repeat that again. The way that George trains is going to cripple him and he is willing to accept that because in his mind he is nothing more than a body and to him his body getting stronger is his entire purpose for existing and there is no price he is not willing to pay to reach that and I mean you have to admire his dedication to the mindset of a champion but you need to understand it is ultimately self-destructive and it's sad to watch it's like because I respect George a lot. I respect George tremendously, but at the same time, I feel terrible for the guy uh, because he has so many problems with it. And he's not going to make it in the long term, but how someone takes an illness and a disease like that and a self-destructive, self-loathing nature that he has and turns it into something that makes him uh, basically a badass is commendable. I mean, I don't even know any other way to describe it, but that is who George is. Uh, and in the long term, my biggest fear with George is he is going to cripple him. So he's going to reach his goal. The dude's already one of the strongest guys out there. 
uh, he's going to reach his goals. I have no doubt in my mind. He's just too genetically gifted and too driven to not reach his goals. I can't, I can't envision this guy failing to reach his goals. But my concern is it is going to cripple him. And when it does, he will probably um, off himself. That's actually my big concern because I could see that coming because of his mindset and his mentality of when he does cripple himself, if he can't flip that around to something new, some new endeavor to throw his entire existence in. And he very well might. He might be building drones. It might be something else that he can do sitting at home. He'll hopefully find something else. But if he doesn't, that'll be the end of George. Uh, unfortunately and that's just the nature of people like that he's just such an intense and driven but damaged individual uh, that's just in his nature so when someone tries to flip what I say around and tries to make me insult George Lehman they don't understand that I actually have been following George for quite a few years and I'm intimately familiar with the guy's mindset and his training and, and the things that he does and uh, I actually have a lot of respect for George, while at the same time, I feel bad for him at the same time. But is his deadlift technique incorrect if your goal is to live a long, healthy life and not be in a wheelchair? Yes, it would be incorrect. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.